today we're going to talk about how to identify Christmas beetles. Entomologists like myself use very specific tools to be able to identify Christmas beetles or any insect. We use something called taxonomic keys which require you to have a pretty good understanding of uh, insect anatomy and all the different terms that go with it, as well as understanding the interrelationships between other groups of insects. It's a lot for a beginner. If you're interested, we'll put some links um, down below for you to take a look at if you'd like to do a deep dive. But for now, I'm going to teach you the simple way to identify Christmas beetles. Now, it won't always work and there will be exceptions, but most of the time, if you use these simple tips, you should be able to work out if you've got a Christmas beetle or not. Remember that for the Christmas Beetle Count Project, it doesn't matter if you're wrong. Upload all of your sightings. We want them all. They're all data. Now, here are my tips for identifying Christmas beetles. The first thing to do is look at the size and the shape of your beetle. Christmas beetles mostly have this sort of rectangular looking body shape. They're relatively large beetles um, and they don't have, say, that humped shape that you would see in something like a ladybird. So take a look for that kind of chonky rectangular shape. That usually will lead you to the right group, the scarabs. The next thing I want you to look at are the back legs of the beetle. This is really important because Christmas beetles tend to have these beautiful chunky back legs. That is, the back legs, the very last pair of legs, are much thicker than the legs before them, the front and the middle pairs of legs. If you see an insect that has that rough body shape and those nice chonky back legs, there's a good chance you're looking at a Christmas beetle. The other thing to look at is the front of the beetle, the head. Christmas beetles have often have these adorable little duck bills. Now it varies in size and shape depending on the species and whether it's a male or a female. But if you see again a beetle that's got those chunky back legs, that approximate body shape, and that beautiful kind of duck bill, boom, you've got a Christmas beetle. So those are my quick tips for identifying Christmas beetles. If you'd like to know more about insect identification and how you can formally identify Christmas beetles, take a look down below.